Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, the third one tonight. Uh, whether I'll upload it tonight, it'll probably be another day I'll upload it. But I'll go through, as I said before, go through a bit of a Belgian fetish, if you like, on the beers. And uh, the next one up, I've been looking at this all day thinking I want to try that, I want to review that, is uh, the Golden Drac Classic, which is a triple, coming in at 10.5%. In a 330ml bottle. I love the wrap on the bottle. I think it's really cool. If I put that in front of me face, will it focus any better? I don't know. Love the bottle cap. And most of all, this glass is just fucking... Sorry. In beer drinking terms, this glass is just sex for me. You know what I mean? Uh, beautiful glass. Egg-shaped glass. So, uh... Yeah, uh, I got eight bottles. There was the classic, the Brewmaster edition, Imperial Stout, and something else. There was like two bottles of each, uh, bar towel, and the glass for twenty six euros. I think it was. So for me, I just I just think that's a bargain, really. And you know, if you're trying new stuff, fuck it, just fucking spend the money and try something different. So uh, enough of me waffling on. Let's get the bottle open, get it in the glass, see what we get on the nose, get the taste in there, and get the review done. So, uh, ooh, it's a lively one again, as you can see. I've had this before. Uh, never had it really to review, I don't think. Uh, so it's a little bit different when you're maybe analysing the beer. And drinking it. There we are. In a glass. Phew. Raging carbonation on the bottom. I don't think it's really picking that up. On the camera. No. It's a nice chestnut colour. <laughs> Whether it's me. I'll put it down to part of me. And part of the the Belgian beer style, uh, but it's a three thirty ml bottle, so I'm guessing you got to expect a bit of a head like that because if you look at the gauge on there, there's your three thirty ml line. So I ain't far off it. It's it's a wild one. Look at the head on that. It's just fucking look. It's growing even more as you do it. I don't think I'm going to get any nose on this, so. There's a bit of alcohol. I think I'm going to have to dive in there. Look at it. It's getting fucking bigger. I think I'm going to have to dive in there and uh, get rid of some of the head and maybe do a bit of a sniff afterwards. On my nose as well. Hmm. It's boozy, definitely boozy. It's got a rich smell to it. I've got a feeling it's gonna be thick and heavy to drink. I mean, it smells like a, a good quality Belgian ale. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not picking an awful lot up because there's such a, such a big head on it, even though I've taken a load off, so. Maybe I'll come into the the aromas once I get a get a mouthful in me, but for now, cheers everyone. Let's dive in there, get some drink. Hmm. That is lovely. That is it's ten and a half percent. Yes, it's not a session beer, by no means. It's quite gassy, it's quite carbonated. Drinking it through that head, whether that's part of it, I, you know, part of the experience, but it gives it a lovely creamy feel. It's smooth, you're certainly getting caramel, toffee kind of tastes 
when you when you have a mouthful. Yeah. Yes, it's boozy. You're getting real rich malty flavours in there. Coffee, not coffee, toffee, caramel. Uh, yeah, I mean, some of these, some of these beers are quite complex, but some of them have like two or three flavours that you pick out sort of instantly when you taste. And it might come across as a boring review, but my God, when you, when you drink it and taste it, they're ju they're just lovely beers and they're sippable beers. They're beers you sit and enjoy. They're not your chuck down your neck kind of thing. And this is the sort of beer I really fancy tonight, if I'm totally honest. Uh, this is this is what I like about Belgian beers. That you get something that warms you through and it's almost an experience drink it excuse me yeah rich maybe a dark fruitness in there maybe uh, but definitely toffee caramel sort of thing Excuse me again, Chris. But it's it's a beautiful beer. I remember the first time I had this about three years ago, before I was tasting all these different beers. I was I was a bit ooh, ooh it's a bit strong. It's all this that and the other. And as you try more, you start your palate changes obviously, and you start to appreciate it more. And as I've said, it it's not one you're going to be drinking four or five of. Yeah, it's it's a cracking it's a cracking end of night get one of them lovely rich beers just to sort of finish the night off and I would highly recommend it uh, as I said I got this from Belgium in a box I got 8 bottles glass and a beer mat for 26 euros but I know in Lidl's they actually do 6 bottles for 12 quid which is 2 of these uh, two Bornham, Bornham Abbey Ales, which I think they're part of the, I could be wrong, but they I think they're part of the Castile Brewery, and they do uh, two bottles of Pirate, and I think the weakest beer is 7.2, uh, and the rest are like 9% and 10.5%, and they're doing them for 12 quid in Lidl's, you're talking two quid a bottle for a fucking, a decent beer, I mean, if you see them in there, pick them up because they're worth a try. They're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but they are worth a try. So, uh, like I say, try them. Simple as, you know. So, uh, if you like my video, feel free to like it. If you've got any opinions on what, what I've said or or give us your own own thoughts on what, if, you know, if you've had the beer feel free uh, obviously if you want to subscribe to my channel that's great I totally appreciate that I totally appreciate all the views as well if you don't want to just watch me videos and uh, most of all again as I always say whatever you're drinking enjoy your beer doesn't matter what beer you're drinking just enjoy it uh, there's no need to be a snob over beer or fucking critical over everyone's tastes so enjoy your beer I'm definitely going to enjoy this. This will definitely be my last one tonight. And uh, I'll see you on another beer review. Which the next one I do will be tomorrow. Although these may end up going on tomorrow anyway. So uh, thanks very much. And I'll see you again. Ta.